Hello everyone and welcome to the live launch of our Teaching with Moodle MOOC on the Learn Moodle site. I'm Mary Cooch, Moodle Community Educator. We also have with us Helen Foster, our Moodle Sites Manager. If you have any questions during this live launch, please uh, tweet them using the hashtag LearnMoodle. We're also hoping to have our founder and lead developer Martin Doogie speaking to us uh, shortly as well. So to get things started, I'm going to share my screen, which I'll do now, and talk you through, for the next 10 or 15 minutes, how the course is going to work. So there is sometimes a little bit of a lag while the um, presentation comes up, so if you'll bear with me for that. Okay, and hopefully you can now see Teaching with Moodle and Introduction. So during the next 10 or 15 minutes, I'm hoping to answer the following questions, and that is, what is this course and how does it work? As a beginner, what do I do? And if I know Moodle, what do I do? And then I'm going to talk a little bit about certification and finally about how you can access the course using our mobile app. Um, so, first of all, what is this course? The course overview, which you'll see on the first page of the course, is um, I've highlighted in yellow a few key terms there. And the fact is that this is a course which is an introduction to teaching with Moodle. And it's designed to provide a good foundation up to Moodle covering the basics of Moodle. And we've tried very much to make the content easy to understand. And um, so basically, the Moodle, this Teaching with Moodle course is for beginners and it will help you use Moodle in your teaching. So there won't be any administration, there won't be any technical side, for instance, hosting or server side or development. So it is for anyone who wants to use Moodle as a teacher to get started. And the next question, how does it work? In other words, how do you get started? Well, when we finish this live launch, if you go back to the Teaching with Moodle course, then you will see that it's opened up and you're going to have two roles. And hopefully you can see on my screen here that you're going to be both a student and a teacher. So you're going to have your own course on our Moodle site where you can try things out as a teacher. But we feel that it's very important, before you start teaching with Moodle, to be able to experience it, the activities as a student. And so first of all, I'll talk about the student side. So on this slide here, you should see a screenshot of part of week one. When you go back to the course, you'll see that it's been divided into four sections of four weeks. And each week has different activities for you to explore. And you'll be able to recognize them as you progress by the different icons that you'll see next to them. They each represent a different Moodle feature. And here is an example of some of the activities from week two. And you can see that each week we're introducing new items. Now, although it's a four-week course, you can work through it at your own pace. So if you want to work quickly and work uh, through the other weeks as well, you're very welcome to, but just be aware that there are some activities that won't appear until later in the course. So you couldn't, for example, complete the whole course just tonight or um, tomorrow. Also, something that's useful to know is if you are new to Moodle, over on the right-hand side are some 
blocks, uh, boxes, and you can see that there is a box with a solid border and a box with a dotted border. And these help you keep a checklist of what you've done. And this will help you track your progress during the four weeks. So the boxes which have the dotted border, once you've completed the activity to Moodle satisfaction, there will appear a tick or a check mark in that box. That will be automatic once you've met Moodle's conditions. The other ones which have a solid border, you yourself need to take responsibility for um, completing that activity to your satisfaction. And so you then click on that box to make the tick or the check mark appear. And it's important to remember this for later on for being able to officially complete the course. So if you are a beginner, what do you do? Well, I'm going to talk you now through the first week's activities. Once you go back to the course, as well as the activities in week one, you'll also see that there's a new block called practice course with a green button. And you can click this box to request a course for you to be, in a, te for you to be a teacher in. You'll remember that you are going to be both a student and a teacher in this course. And when you click the Request Now button, you'll be asked to give your course a name. You can call it anything you like. You can call it Peter's course or Jane's course, something related to your subject, advanced mathematics or um, English grade one. It doesn't matter. Don't call it Teaching with Moodle, though, because that is the name of our course where we're all participating in. In that course, you can explore and try things out. You can add new features. If you have any problems, you can go to the question and answer forum to get some help. And we are hoping there'll be many advanced Moodlers there who can answer your questions. Now, some people like to learn by being hands-on and exploring, experimenting. But if you would prefer more guided instruction, then we have in each week something that Moodle calls books. And these books, I'm going to show you one now. Here are two books which are in week one. They are like online books or mini websites, if you like. And if you click onto them, you'll see that they're divided up into different links or pages. And each of these will explain to you a certain aspect of Moodle for that week. And they have both text for people who like to read text. If you like to learn by reading, then you can read there. And there's also links to more documentation. We also have, for each of these features, a very short little screencast or video. And so if you like to watch videos to learn, these videos are only about three minutes long. And they all have captions in English. So if English is not your first language, then you can read the captions. We luckily have them in Greek already, Greek captions. And we're hoping to have some more captions in other languages too. So just to recap, week one, as a beginner, when we've finished our live launch, please go back into the Teaching with Moodle course. That's where hopefully you will have already posted an introduction to yourself in the forum. And you'll see that the rest of the course is now open. Join in the week one activities. Click the green button to request a practice course. And then in your practice course as a teacher, Decide on how you want to lay out your course, explore and add useful blocks, and explore enrollments. In other words, how students could access your course. We're not expecting you to have people in your course. And for the first few weeks anyway, you will be working on your own as the teacher in your course. But the books, the text and video in week one will explain to you how to do these three aspects. So that's as a beginner, but my next question, if you already know Moodle, what do you do? I'm going to talk a little bit about that now.
Well, there is no reason why you couldn't also request a course and find out more about the latest features of Moodle. We're using the latest version of Moodle, Moodle 2.8, and it might be that you're experienced in Moodle, you've used it for several years, but your version is slightly older than the latest. So this is a great opportunity for you to try out the newest version of Moodle and all the latest features. We'd also be very grateful if you could help out by answering questions of beginner Moodlers in the question and answer forum, which I'll talk about in a moment, and also sharing any good ideas that you have in a forum called Share Good Ideas. And here, we would like, if you've used Moodle and you've tried something out that's worked well, that's been successful in your course, we'd like you to tell others about it so that beginner Moodlers can benefit from it and even other experienced Moodlers. So although the course is meant for complete beginners, we're very lucky to have quite a number of advanced Moodlers who've joined the course. Some of these have joined because they'd like to know how a MOOC works, which is great, but hopefully others who've joined will be able to give support, especially in the question and answer forum, which I'd just like to highlight a couple of points about that on my next two slides. So if, as an advanced Moodler, you see a basic question from a beginner Moodler, such as this, I need help with drag and drop, please feel free to answer it in the simplest terms, maybe just a sentence or two. I think, from my own experience, because I'm not a technical person, sometimes when you're learning something new and you're helped by someone who has a lot of experience, they feel the need to tell you everything they know, and it can sometimes overwhelm you. So it's best if we can keep our answers short and simple. And the other point to make is it's possible there are some advanced Moodlers who haven't been able to catch this live launch or won't be able to watch the recording. And so just a reminder that the question and answer forum is for beginner questions. And so if by mistake we have any advanced questions like this one, please, instead of answering it, you'd be very welcome to suggest to the advanced poster that they ask the questions on the community forums of Moodle.org, where um, help is available, support is available all the time, or by going to the documentation on Moodle. And the reason for this is because we would like to keep the question and answer forums just for simple questions. And again, I remember when I try to learn technical things, if I were to see a question like that as a beginner, I might feel a little bit nervous about asking my own question if I thought it was a bit too simple. Okay, next, certification. What will you get if you manage to complete the course? And how can you complete the course? Well, we're not offering a certificate, but we are offering two badges a participant badge for participating in forums and a completer badge for, quite simply, completing the course. And these badges, they are digital badges. You can have them on your Moodle profile. You can, if you want to, uh, download them, print them off, frame them and put them on your wall. Or, as many people like to do increasingly now, Mozilla Open Badges, if you have a backpack, you can add the badges to your backpack and carry them around with you virtually in different social media sites on the internet. So hopefully as many of you as possible will get one or both badges. Finally, I'm going to, oh, sorry, the badges, you will need to keep your eyes on the completion, activity completion boxes, which I mentioned right at the beginning and that's why I said they were important. To get the completer badge, all of those boxes need to have ticks or check marks in. And if you recall, the ones with the dotted lines, those conditions are set automatically by Moodle. And the ones with the solid border, you need to decide with your own satisfaction and conscience how well you think you've completed it and then click that button. So you'll have a good checklist of how far you have got to complete the course. Finally, some people would like to do the course using their mobile while they're out and about, and we do have an official Moodle mobile app. You can download our app 
from the App Store, Google Play, Windows Store. Here's a screenshot of what it looks like on your mobile phone. It's a very streamlined, condensed version of the course. You won't be able to do everything on the course from the mobile app. And for the completion boxes, you will have to go in through the website. But it is a very neat app for getting notifications, viewing the forums, and so on. And if you're new to the app, then there is a link here, tinyurl.com slash learnmoodlemobile, which will tell you more about it. And we'll be very glad at the end of the four weeks if you'd like to give us some feedback about the Moodle mobile app. So just to recap then, hopefully I've explained to you what this course is and how it works. I hope that I've made it clear what you would do if you are a beginner and how you can help if you already know Moodle. I've said that in terms of certification, there are two badges to be got. And finally, I've talked about our mobile app. So very soon, we'll be able to go to the course. The activities will be opened up and start. I'm going to stop sharing my screen now. Thanks, Mary. That was great. Um, Helen. Okay. Sorry. Helen, yes. And I'm just going to share my screen with the tweets. Yep, I can definitely see us on my laptop. Okay. Okay, then. So you're going to talk about the Learn Moodle um, hashtag, then. Yep. As we mentioned at the beginning of our uh, live presentation, uh, if you have any questions during our our live sessions you and you are on Twitter you're welcome to use the hashtag learn Moodle now I'm just reviewing here what we have it seems that there was some technical problem uh, we started the, the live launch at on the hour um, but it seems that it wasn't broadcast um, on YouTube shortly afterwards. Um, so we'll look into what happened. We can always reschedule Mary's uh, presentation. Um, I'm just looking if there's any particular questions that have come up. Um, looks like everyone's tweeting the same thing. Yeah, very sorry everyone for a uh, technical problem. Um, you know how these things go. Not much to say really, um, but uh, we will we will look into it and either provide you with a recording or uh, schedule a time to repeat Mary's presentation. I think that's uh, all from me. Um, Mary, is there anything you'd like to add? Yes, just to say that it does appear that we were recording because thanks to the several people that I saw on your Twitter stream who were posting the live link. So uh, we'll make sure that that goes into the course um, as soon as possible and we'll also send that out in our regular update through the course news forum. That's all from me, I think. Um, again, as Helen said, if you have any questions, then you can ask them as well as through the hashtag Learn Moodle. You can also now go to our course, which is completely open, and in the course forums, ask your questions there. So I'm going to stop the broadcast now, and it will be recorded, and I'll make sure that that goes into our course as soon as possible. We hope to see you in there as soon as possible, and to see you next week when we'll get, it, uh, we'll get the links correct as well. 
Thank you and see you soon.